If you spend any time at all on this channel, you know that I use SEO Yoast. I recommend it to everybody because it's the best SEO plugin out there. But we just got word that they have a major bug that's causing search rankings in some websites. Now they've identified the problem. They've told us what the problem is. I'm going to tell you what the problem is. They released a patch on how to fix it. And that's all we can do. So it's going to take time for rankings to recover. But if you are affected, I'm going to tell you how to check if you're affected. If you are, this is how you're going to fix it. And if you're just interested, this is what the problem is. And we're going to get started right now. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, and for your business. If it's your first time here and you like WordPress and getting better at it, learning tips and tricks and all kinds of cool stuff, click on subscribe, then the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything, and check out our private Facebook group, link to in the description down below, where we talk WordPress, help each other get better at WordPress, just everything but WordPress. Anyway, check that out down below, and now let's get into this SEO Yoast bug screen capture. I'll see you there. A few days ago, the guys over at SEO Yoast let us know there's a bug in their plugin, and that bug has caused some ranking drops in some websites. That's not good. But luckily, they have A, patched it, they've B, spoken to Google directly to figure out whether the patch is okay and it's good for websites, and C, only a few sites were affected. So this is what happened. The media attachment URL, which you're seeing on your screen here, this is their blog post, it's also linked to in the description down below if you want to read it for yourself. It wasn't turned on or the settings weren't passed on if you set it previously when you did the update. So if you had this set properly, like in the tutorial that I have for SEO Yoast, linked up above if you want to check that out, but it's basically how to set up SEO Yoast. This setting, we set it so the media attachment URLs are redirected instead of showing the attachment URLs. And that is what you're supposed to do. And if you had that set, when you update it to the new version of SEO Yoast, that setting may not have made it through the update. So sites that had it set properly, all of a sudden didn't have it set properly, and then that caused ranking drops. And the reason it caused ranking drops is because the media attachment URLs are called thin pages, meaning there's nothing there, essentially. When you upload a picture or any kind of asset to WordPress, WordPress makes of its own page for that picture. So if you upload 10 images to a blog post, and that's great, images on blog posts are great, but WordPress also creates 10 separate pages for each of those images with their own URLs. And this setting redirects those pages away from those pages and back to somewhere else, probably the home page. I don't actually know where they direct it to. I'm sure they tell you, but I'm not, I don't remember off the top of my head where it goes. But my point is that if this setting was done right, and then all of a sudden it wasn't done right, you have potentially thousands of these thin pages in Google or on your website that Google is then crawling and they think your site is spammy because that's what spammy sites do. They make pages with not much content. In this case, just an image. So sites were penalized. If you saw a ranking drop in Google Analytics or whatever analytics software you use, if you saw a ranking drop over the past few months, this may have been the cause and the new version of SEOs has patched it. But if you find your rankings did drop, this is what you have to do. Go into your dashboard, go to SEO Yoast, and then search appearance, then click on the media tab. And this setting here should be set to yes. If yours is set to no, then those attachment URLs are not being redirected. So here's actually where they go. So they go to the attachment itself. So instead of creating a separate page for an image, it just links to the image, which is a much better way to do it. Google understands that. Google understands images that exist on websites. So linking to an image is okay. But linking to a page that has just an image is not okay. So this needs to be set to yes, and then save changes. And let's say for, this, for argument's sake that you were affected and you want to get this cleared up as quickly as possible, which you likely want to do, SEO Yoast created a supplemental plugin, which is called Search Index Purge. You can get this by going to, well, either here to download and install manually, or you can head over to Plugins, and then Add New, and then look up Search Index Purge, and this is it right here. So this is updated six days ago. It was probably created six days ago, and there's already 4,000 installs. So there are people who have been affected by this. So to install it, clearly we click Install Now, 
And this is an add-on to Yoast SEO. So you need Yoast SEO for this to work. And after it's installed, click on activate. And once it's activated, if we head back to where we were earlier, SEO Yoast, and then search appearance, and then go to media, we have this new message here saying, these settings are being overridden by the search index purge plugin. You are actively purging attachment URLs out of Google search index. You can click save settings or not, it doesn't really matter at this point. But what this plugin does, if you go to this page, I've linked to in the description down below, it makes a, or it returns a 410 status for all attachment URLs. This basically tells Google, take these out of your index as quickly as possible. And then it creates an XML sitemap, removing all of those URLs and recent last modified dates. And basically the whole point is to get these thin attachment URLs out of the index. And what also happens is with a nice trick, if someone goes to these, they actually see the attachment image. So the user experience isn't as poor as, as seeing an error page. How long should you run this plugin? Four or six months, they recommend. And that's the amount of time that it takes. I mean, it, Google's a big, big company. Their search engine crawlers crawl billions of pages every single day, and it takes time to do this. Unfortunately, this, this error, that this, this bug, causes problems and it took time for those problems to actually materialize because I think an update was back in March and now it's June and now it's really coming to a head and it's taken that amount of time to really identify that this is happening and that there's now a fix for it and it's a problem. So it's going to take that amount of time for it to be fixed, but it will be fixed because if you take those pages away, Google is going to recognize that those are gone and things should be okay, hopefully. And that's all they're really is to this problem and to the fix. There isn't a lot to do. It just takes time. And apparently Google has said this method is okay. And it's been discussed with Google. So the question arises, should you get rid of SEO Yoast? Because I mean, this isn't the first time they've had a bug. A year ago, I think it was a year ago, they had a cross-site scripting vulnerability, which caused a lot of sites to be hacked. And mistakes happen. So it, it's not like they're a bad company or evil company or anything. Mistakes happen. And SEO Yoast is, in my opinion, hands down the best SEO plugin. That's why I recommend it to everybody. That's why I have it running on every single one of my websites. It is the only SEO plugin I use. And another thing that's really important, if you scroll down this page here, I said a moment ago they discussed this with Google, and they talked to John Mueller, who is... An important guy at Google. So if we go search for John Mueller, let's see who this guy is. There's probably a lot of John Mueller's out there. Type in Google after his name. Senior Webmaster Trends Analyst. It sounds pretty important, but companies throw titles around like cheesecake. So it might not be anything major, but it sounds pretty important. And it says, or they asked him, is this gonna be a problem, what happened here? And what John said to the SEO Yoast guys, sites generally shouldn't be negatively affected by something like this. We often index pages like that for normal sites and they usually don't show up in search. If they do show up for normal queries, usually that's a sign that the site has other bigger problems. Also, over the time you mentioned, there have been various reports on Twitter and company, others, about changes in rankings. So if sites are seeing changes, I'd imagine it's more due to normal search changes than anything like this. So basically, Google is saying, yes, you may have had a bug. This may have caused some something to happen, but likely it didn't. So he's basically saying your, your bug probably didn't do anything, but maybe it did. I don't know. Either way, it's patched. This is how you fix it. Yoast has a direct line to Google. So if, if, you, if you're hunting around for an SEO plugin, which SEO plugin would you want to go with? The small-time guys who are just trying to get somewhere. I mean, everybody's gotta start somewhere, right? It's not like I'm saying, don't use the little guys. All I'm saying is, this is important stuff. Your SEO, this is your traffic, this might be your livelihood. If you have a plugin developer who has an ear or people or a contact at the biggest search engine in the world, that's probably gonna be the best plugin to go with. In my opinion, that could change in the future, who knows? But either way, I recommend you fix this if it's a problem on your site and stick with SEO Yoast. And if you want to try a different SEO plugin, go for it, but I'm still sticking with Yoast. So that's how we fix it. It will take time. It's not an overnight fix. Google and indexing and search rankings take time. When you lose them, it takes time to come back. When you don't have them yet, it takes time to get them. 
at least take heart in knowing that it's been okayed with Google and that it's been fixed as long as you follow what I show you in this video. And if you haven't done so yet, click subscribe, then the bell icon so you don't miss anything. Check out the Facebook group in the description down below and click on these videos that popped up on the right hand side to get even better WordPress. And until next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.